Okay, so here are some practical tips to make a difference. Take the focus off you. Unless you've already made stacks of money, you are not qualified to talk at length to your leads. Simple as that. So what are you? You're a conduit, nothing more. Now people will say to me, well, well, hang on, I thought I was supposed to be doing all this attraction marketing and building my brand and all the rest of it. Yeah, yeah, to a degree, to a degree. But that will help to get their attention. It may help to get a lead on Facebook, for instance. But it's not going to do you a lot of, uh, not going to give you a lot of help when it comes to converting them. In fact, it's almost like an albatross around your neck. Now I can do it because I've made money. I've made money in this one. I've made money in the previous one, and the previous, and the previous. Every program I've joined that I've committed to, I've made money within the first 60 days, usually within the first 30 days. Sometimes, in the first week or less, I've made money. So I've got true confidence, don't I? It's not fake confidence. It's not fake it till you make it. It's real. So I can do it. I can get away with it. But even then, I'll still, I'm still going to simplify. I'm still going to send them to tools, to videos, to, to webinars. I'm going to take the focus off me. They need to hear it from, they need to hear other voices. They do not want to need to be hearing you. Even though they might like you a hell of a lot, doesn't mean they're going to do business with you because they'll have all these niggling doubts. The only way to get around it is to take the focus off you and put it where it belongs. Other people with other stories, success stories, your leader, your sponsor, they're the people that need to be doing the heavy lifting for you. You are not entitled to be doing the heavy lifting you are not required to do the heavy lifting, so therefore, you shouldn't be doing it. Just stop it, will you? Please, stop it. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about here. I know what I'm talking about here. We have to make this as simple and as easy as possible for the new person. And if they think they've got to be like you, they're going to run a mile. Particularly when you cannot demonstrate a track record of success. They're just going to have too many doubts building up. You have to expose them to other people. You have to. And it's not a matter of giving them a choice. They have no choice in the matter. You are going to expose them. You're going to say, okay, this is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to sh send this little uh, Hot Stories video. It's a little video overview showing you what some people, uh, how people are doing in this, some of the results they're getting. You, you'll see that there's a real buzz about this business, a real buzz, and I'm sure you'll get excited about it. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk, 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 talk. That's not my job. My job is to be a traffic cop. So we jump to number three because it felt right to do it. We'll come back to that. Simplicity rules. This is not affiliate marketing, as I said before. You're recruiting people who are looking for a simple way forward. If they think they have to be as good as you, they will not join. So, goes back to the first point there. Take the freaking focus off you. Be a traffic cop, not a guru. Direct prospects to the information. Send them away from you. They get it from webinars, recordings, sales pages, uh, uh, Facebook groups, and your sponsor. The three-way call. That's where they get it from. And as I said, you don't give them any choice. You just say, okay, John, you've watched that video, you watch the overview video about the business. What you need to do, you've got some questions. First up, 
give me a couple of your questions. Then you write them down, and then you say it back to them. Say, okay, well, just to correct, just let's get clear on this. The questions that you've got are number one, number two, number three. They say yes, that they are the questions. Say, okay, well, the first one's real simple, so I'll answer that for you now. Bang, give them a real quick answer. The second two, no. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to de defer to my buddy. My buddy, one of my colleagues, who's, who's done really well. Let's just put it that way. I'm going to defer to him because he, I, I, if I give you the answer now and it's wrong, I just feel so bad about letting you down. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pass these questions over to Kim, whoever your sponsor is, but let's say it's me. Uh, I'll pass them over to Kim and uh, let, let's, let's connect up on Facebook with him first up. So I'll, I'll put him in to a, uh, we'll, we'll do a, uh, to a chat here. Um, I'll get you to friend him. And uh, he's a real easy guy to talk to and he will answer these questions for you. So that's how we can do it on Facebook. Other way to do it is that we hook up a, a Skype call or a, um, a phone call or something like that. Don't intimidate them. Just, you know, don't say, oh, he's, you know, he's the big guru or something like that. It might frighten them. Just say, look, this guy has got some runs on the board, let me tell you. You're going to be impressed. But he's also a funny guy. He's a guy, you're going to like this guy. He, he is funny. He's very laid back. That's another thing to say, because you don't want him to think it's going to be a pressure call, right? He's very laid back. He, you kind of got to take it or leave it attitude, right? So don't be off put by him, but you will find him really, really helpful. He'll he'll um, he'll show you uh, a simple couple of simple ways how to generate how we how we generate leads for this business. He, he'll tell you, but I'm not going to do that. See, this is another point. If you're talk, talking to people about how you're generating leads and oh, you're doing this and you're doing that, you're talking too much. Get off it. You're a traffic cop. At least until you've made, I don't know, your first 20 grand. Even 10 grand might work. But not made any money, you made very little money. Take the pressure off you. Put it on, put the weight of responsibility onto our shoulders. We'll do it for you. Okay. Give them social proof early and often. Do it with stories, testimonials, and three-way calls. Do you have some standard stories that you can tell people? Success stories. People who have made money. Do you have any? You should have a minimum of three. You should have three. Minimum. Do you have my story? Do you... Um, there are other people. You, you go into one of the uh, busy Facebook groups. You'll be able to pull stories out of there. So you do it with stories, testimonials, and three-way calls. Stories, there's a stories video. I did a st record of a stories video, just use that, give it to them. And no, you don't have to create your own version. Forget about that, just use the resources that are already there. Another thing that you should do is plug them into the um, Prospects Facebook group. You add them to that group. Okay, that, that gives some social proof. It's for non-paid members, it's for people that haven't yet made the final decision. Right? You can add them to that. You, uh, they, haven't, they haven't paid, they haven't joined, but they're interested. They're leaning forward. Okay, put them into the Facebook group and tell them why you've done it. And if you're not aware of the, what the name of the Facebook group is, no problem. Let me know. I'll tell you. I'll give it to you. I've, I've probably already put you into it anyway. You should be in it. But if, you, if you're not, or you can't remember, please ping me. No problem. I'll... Um, I'll give it to you. And then you put your prospects into that group. Okay? That helps with social proof. That's the reason why the group was established. It's not a training group. There's no training in that group. No training. Because it's for non-members. It's for prospects. Social proof early and often. What else? Stop answering questions. You have zero credibility, so stop thinking that you do. Other than a few basic questions, all others must be answered by your upline via the three-way call, three-way chat, three-way something. 
You've got to get good at linking people up to people like me. Early. Do it early. After they've watched an overview video, that's when you do it. So they watch the, the video about the business, whether it's one of my concept videos or whether it's a, um, my overview video or whether it's a company produced video. Okay. There may be situations as well where you don't even introduce the business to them. You just get talking about issues, about generating leads and business, you know, doing business the modern way on, on uh, social media platforms like Facebook and stuff like that. You, you pull out their problem. This is if they're particularly if they're already in some kind of home business. You pull out their problem, you extract their problem, and you, and you know that they would benefit by talking to me. All you need to do is say, I know someone that can help you with that. The problem could be that their leads aren't converting. Okay, or you may, be, you may want to bring them in on a chat and I'll have a talk to them for you. And you may not even brought up the business opportunity at this point. But I may be able to bring it up for you. And then you've got yourself another hot prospect. There's different ways of doing this, but, you, but particularly if you're promoting a business opportunity and you haven't got the runs on the board, you've got to cut down on on being the font of all wisdom kind of approach. Understand why the three-way call is the way to go. Reason, it gives prospects the confidence they need to make, to make a smart decision. That's why they need it. Teamwork makes the dream work, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. You are not an island, you are part of a team, and we need to work together collaboratively to help each other reach our respective goals. So there you have it. Eight reasons why it's not working. There may be other reasons as well. Um, and then of course this assumes that you are actually doing some work. If you're on the other hand in that other group of people, thumb suckers who, who um, aren't doing any work, well uh, there's not much I can do to help you if you won't help yourself. But this is really for the, for the workers, the people who've, who've been putting in an effort, uh, or they've maybe they've put in an effort and they kind of gave up on it because they didn't get any results. Well, one of the reasons why you gave up on it is you didn't, you weren't, you didn't stay close to your mentor. You just went off on a tangent. That doesn't work. Okay, guys, I hope this was helpful for you. This is Kim Willis. Bye for now.